Welcome to this Digital Anarchy tutorial on how to use your transcripts in Transcriptive to create captions and subtitles for your videos. This video starts off with a clip or sequence that has been transcribed and text that has been edited and ready to be converted to captions. Check out our video on creating new transcripts or editing text to learn more about how to do those steps. This video is using Transcriptive 251. So if you have a different version of Transcriptive, the interface may look different, but the basic steps are the same. Once you have a transcript you want to convert to captions for your video, click the Export button in Transcriptive, and in the drop-down menu you'll see the available options for open and closed caption formats. SRT is the most common format for social media videos and can be imported back into Premiere, so we'll use that as an example. You have the option to include the speaker names from your transcript in the captions file, and you can set the number of characters per line and the number of lines you want on screen at a time. If you only want a single line of captions, set this to one and choose how many characters can be in each line. Different caption formats have different options based on the requirements and standards for that format. The Keep Subtitles on Screen option creates a caption file that will leave the last line of dialogue on screen until the next line starts. If you check this, you can set the time in seconds between when one line ends and the next line starts. If this is off, a line will disappear off the screen once it's done being spoken in the video. Click Export to create a file and choose where to save it. Then the caption file is ready to upload to YouTube or whatever platform you're uploading to. If you're bringing the captions back into Premiere, you can import most of the caption formats directly into your project and put them on the timeline. I can edit the appearance of my captions by selecting the SRT file on the timeline and then using the Premiere Captions panel. In the Captions panel, right-click on the left side of one of the caption lines and click Select All. Then you can change the font, size, location, color, and other display options. If you want to change the resolution of your captions file, right-click it in the project panel and go to Modify Captions. You can set the resolution to match your project. Settings like resolution are set by the Import Settings menu, and you can change the defaults by clicking the Import Settings button at the bottom of your captions panel. If you want your captions burned into your video, meaning they're a part of the video and not an option that the viewers can turn on and off, you can go to the Captions tab when exporting your video and select Burn Captions into Video under the Export Options. If you're creating closed captions like SMP, TE, TT, the basic settings are the same. You generally want closed captions when the captions are meant to be turned on and off, although there are so many uses for captions that it depends. Closed captions do have a standard and stream option that you need to set, and you'll want to remember what these are if you're bringing the closed captions back into Premiere because you'll need to enable that particular stream and standard in the Premiere caption settings. Closed captions don't have the same customization options in the Premiere captions panel since they're meant to look a certain way at all times. To see the closed caption file in Premiere after importing it into your project, import it, add it to the timeline, and click the Settings Wrench menu under the Program Monitor, go to Closed Caption Display, and check Enable. Then click Settings and select the standard and stream options you set when creating the closed caption file. We also have a free plugin called the SRT Importer, which lets you import an SRT into After Effects add additional styling to the captions, and send them back to Premiere using Adobe Dynamic Link. Check out our video called Introduction to After Effects SRT Importer, which we'll link in the description for a step-by-step -step guide on how to use it. If you have any questions about captioning or any other transcriptive features, send us an email at cs at digitalanarchy.com, and you can download free demos of any of our products at digitalanarchy.com.